think we just need to have a word from our sponsor. Okay. Washington is broken. The truth is, too many politicians are totally controlled by special interests and lobbyists. We're going to make America great again. I'm Donald Trump, and I approve this message. He approves the message. Why would you play a commercial for my opponent in the middle of our interview? He paid me in steaks. I'd be afraid to eat them if I were you. It's a good cut of meat. I think it's part of the asshole. Well, this has been a lot of fun, Mrs. Clinton. We should stay in touch. What's the best way to reach you? Email? You've got me. It must kind of stink, though, that you can't run, you know, three times. You no, know. actually, I think it's a good idea. Uh, you know, if I ran a third time, it'd be sort of like doing a third hangover movie. Didn't really work out very well, did it? Do you think people focus maybe too much on your looks and, and don't even, you know, realize that you're just a shitty actor? Next question. You know what I would do if I were president, Mr. President? I would make same-sex divorce illegal. Then see how bad they want it. I think you affectionately refer to your fans as beaners. No believers. Yeah, that makes more sense. Tell me what it was like uh, the first time that you uh, laid eyes on Angelina. Was it like one of those classical love stories, like when... I don't know, when Ross first saw Rachel. You know that show, Friends? Have you seen that? I like that so much. As secretary, how many words per minute could you type? And how does President Obama like his coffee? Like himself? Weak? You know, Zach, those are really out-of-date questions. I, 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 you need to get out more. What happens if you become pregnant? Are we gonna be stuck with Tim Kaine for nine months? How does this work? I, I could send you some pamphlets that might help you understand. First you supported Obama's Trans-Pacific Partnership deal and then you were against it. I think that people deserve to know. Are you down with TPP? Uh, I'm not down with TPP. No, you're supposed to say, yeah, you know me. Like the hip hop group. Don't tell me what to say. Fine, lose. Country goes to shit. You shaved your head for V for Vendetta. Mm -hmm. um, did you also shave your V for vagina? You got your start doing theater and independent films. I did. And now you're acting in Marvel movies. How good does it feel to sell out? Do you think you play smart characters like Sherlock Holmes because you have a, we have one of these, you know, these faces. Can we, is there a, let's just get a close-up here. If it's a face that can go either way, it can use inductive reasoning to solve mysteries, or it's the type of face that masturbates all day wearing a helmet. It's, it's a fine line. If you didn't have an accent, do you think people would be able to tell that you're not a very good actor? Yeah, no, I think my accent probably does help. That's, that's true. No shit, Sherlock. Mm. Your superhero character is called Captain Marvel. Yes. Well, they really have stopped trying, haven't they? I mean, why don't they just call it Captain Comic Book or Captain We Can't Think of Anything Else? And what would your superhero name be? Captain Crunch? The Bulk? Like the Incredible Bulk? Yes. Well, all of those you just said are much better than Captain Marvel. I read online that you're very private and declined to answer. Do you research your roles? Yeah. Have you ever considered uh, researching a character that has taken acting classes? Right now I'm acting like this is fun. How am I doing? Sometimes I get a little bit miffed by the time, the types of people that I have to interview uh, come in with an attitude as if they're better than. I have and come in here with no attitude at all. You told me I'm a colonial you're bastard. You're a colonist. Yeah, yeah no, I'm, I'm like- Look at your moustache. I mean, you, you, you look like a colonist. Coming from the Yeti, what the fuck? Now yeah, you're calling me a Yeti. Your face is covered in hair. Now you're insulting the Greeks. Get off your fucking trip. I, I don't have a trip. You, you do. You're saying my facial hair means that I'm a fascist. 
I said colonist. Uh, you're the one that's saying fascist. If you want to go that way, if you'd rather be called a fascist, fine. No. Yeah. If you want to be a fascist, your mustache could be use a little trimming. Yeah, you yeah. You know what I mean? On this side and this side. Sure, right here. Sure. I'd like yeah. to thank my Great. guest, uh Benedict Cabbage Benedict Cabbage number ten. Take this off. Thank you for coming out. Well, I'm not I'm not done. Hey. Hey. My guest today is Benedict Cumberbatch, but Benedict Cam Benefit Lumberjacks. Uh, Benedict Cumberbatch. That's what it is.